Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? 
How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a Spectre, one of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock.
Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. You're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. 
They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movement. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to out, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Big place.
Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I I'm should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species... 
The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in the Volus... The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? What is this place? This is the pres- If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's your name? My What's name you? is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant. Have a pleasant day.
I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander.
don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, what do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her so Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing certainly more lively than this. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. This place seems strange. Wish there were more humans around. Welcome. I am Melina. I don't... Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consorts. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with com. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolyte. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. 
I'd like to try out your service. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous... I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. What does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Please, Commander. Sure is peaceful here. After the Geth secure... The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans.
Take a seat if you like. It may be over. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clients. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their number... Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan Rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's gonna stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellion. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began... Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan Rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Sounds like they got what they deserved. I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Tell me more about the Krogan. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan... For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire... They what were, were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2,200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them the Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted... That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to... Pre the statue... In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned... What to were the Rachni wars? Nearly tw A highly... The emergence of the... Kr the Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworld. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? 
I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond... That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Human, this one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as De Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits... This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price. I think I should be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Commander, it is good to see you again. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our... Co Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Commander, it is Show good. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so.